With more budget phones coming out with stylus, does LG remain the budget stylus king? What's up Gadgeteers, my name is Hector and this is Gadgetbeard and on this channel I unbox and review everyday tech, gadgets and accessories for you. And in today's video we have the LG Stylo 6. Now this is the Boost Mobile variant, picked this up for around 200 bucks I believe so, don't quote me on that, I kind of forget things relatively fast. but. Around $200, we have the LG Stylo 6. We have a 6.8 Full HD Plus display. That's 1080p with the stylus. It tells you right there, a 13 megapixel main camera, a five megapixel ultra wide, and a five megapixel depth rear camera, so which is depth sensing. Uh, so you do have a three camera array here in the rear and in the front we do have a 13 megapixel front facing selfie camera 64 gigabytes of ROM, and 3 gigabytes of ram 4000 milliamp hour battery and capable of fast charging now one thing to notice that this year the stylo 6 does not come with the snapdragon at least for this variant from boost mobile it does come with a mediatek helio p35 which is relatively budget so for 200 bucks is this the best stylus phone you can get let's find out and let's crack this box open so nice typical packaging from boost here and lg uh this is 4g lte capable uh you're not gonna get 5g bands with this phone so let's go ahead and open this box here boom oh nice so we have a boost mobile box and then inside we do have a nice lg box kind of regurgitating the same information we saw on the boost mobile box let's go ahead and unbox this bam we have a type c to usb a charging cable and we do have the travel adapter capable of fast charging there and i believe it is uh it says it's a nine volt so a nine volt fast charging i believe so there you have it you guys can go ahead and pause it and read it if you like but we do have fast charging in the stylo six and we have the phone itself let's go ahead and pop this bad boy out bam oof it feels pretty heavy right there man it feels nice and solid look at that color that's a good color uh we do have our sim injection tool we do have i don't know what it is so in case you try to steal it boom and we have our safety and limited warranty information inside the box that's all we get with the stylo 6 let's go ahead and power on this device and see what else this device is capable of but it does feel very solid dude R right off the back it feels solid i do not know if this is feels it feels like glass so we have glass back let's peel off all these protective plastics on the device it does not come with a pre-installed screen protector uh, but you do have all these plastics on the side of the phone there you kind of want to peel off pretty large phone here helio p35 feels solid though that's one thing that um i'm kind of liking is the feel of this device because it feels <laughs> has some weight to it so i don't know what it is but when a device feels solid and has some weight it kind of feels premium let me know down in the comment section below if you feel the same way about what i just said um but it does feel very solid that color looks very nice look at that boom you can see the fingerprints already 
uh, on the back, but this color kind of minimizes you from seeing them. But let's go ahead and power this bad boy on and see what we have when we get booted up. On the side of the phone, we do have the power button and on the left side of the phone, we do have a volume rocker. And I think this button right here is the dedicated like Google Assistant button. I don't know if you can go ahead and reprogram that. We do have the SIM tray there. At the bottom of the phone, we do have a headphone jack, Type-C power port speaker, and we do have the stylus pen which has the clicky mechanism you see that oh like the note so they did kind of upgrade the pin there i didn't have the stylo five or the four or the three or the one but i do have the six and i am liking this kind of clicky thing you kind of boom slide it out put it back in there boom now the stylus pen itself is not like the note let's go ahead and see if we can focus on that it's not like the note but it does have a kind of rounded kind of mesh metal looking tip there so it is going to be better than using your finger for certain things uh, but let's go ahead and put this back on here on the top of the phone we do have absolutely nothing but a mic on the back we have a fingerprint sensor there the three cameras flash lg branding and that's about it look how thick this phone is <laughs> it looks pretty pretty thick uh let me know if you guys want to see a comparison against the moto g stylus or the new tcl 10 pro that one's good but this feels kind of thick does Feel solid we're waiting for the phone to boot up once the phone boots up we're gonna do a quick software walkthrough and see what it has inside I do think we do have a SD card for expansion so you can expand if the 64 megabytes is not good enough for you and you actually need more room to expand the cameras are capable of 1080p recording they do not record in 4k and this is taking a relatively long time to boot up the front camera also records in 1080p 30 frames per second and the rear as well we're not getting 4k on this it's kind of bum but again we do have that mediatek helio p35 processor and as you can tell it took a while just to boot up uh, so i'm not sure if that was a great choice by lg to go with that helio p35 which is not a relatively newer processor Uh, but the phone is speaking to me, so I'm going to go ahead and set it up, come back and show you guys a little bit of the OS. Now, you can either set it up with the notch or if you hate absolutely notches, you can go ahead and mitigate this, that notch like that. But you do get this larger bezel on top, kind of looks like the Pixel 4. Uh, let's go ahead and utilize that screen and hit next. All right, we're done setting up the phone now. Setting up the phone does take a while because of the P35 processor. Um, it, it just took a while. So if you get this phone, just make sure whenever you're setting up your phone, it might take a while, especially if you're doing a backup. I did a backup from a previous device, but it's all good. So. I don't know how I got a text, but never mind. I'm off. Check that out. I got a text here. So the phone itself, uh, pretty cool. The launcher, you do have Google Now launcher there. As you can see, we're still trying to settle in because uh, you are getting little skips and frame drops here. But it is somewhat snappy here. Not too bad. Uh, the phone, as you can see, boom, launcher pretty 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 is decent it's running pretty good it is a budget phone so right now currently it does cost 220 but you can get it for 180 bucks right now at the boost mobile website's about 40 dollars off uh great phone android 10 if we go to settings here let's take a look at storage i did back up some stuff from uh the previous device some apps that i kind of kind of want and kind of want to um, see if this device can handle those apps but the system right off the back it takes out 18 gigabytes uh, out of your storage so out of I think how many apps did I get in here where is my apps about six gigs of apps games I do have games so 
I did back it up from my Samsung device, so I do have about 38 gigabytes of free uh, storage. So I am using about 25 right out the gate. Uh, it it's, looks and the screen looks amazing, especially the 6.0 inch display. I think it might be a 20 by 5 aspect ratio or 9 19 by 5. It is kind of thin. Uh, you do got a substantial amount of bezel around the device but i don't mind that at, at all and then the chin's a little bit thicker than the top of it you do have your earpiece here on top of the device but relatively looks good it's not an amoled display but the screen looks nice and crisp 1080p at least we're getting 1080p here as a display so as you can see like i'm trying to access google now and it's not doing it so you gotta wait and then I don't know sometimes it acts it, it wants to go there and sometimes it doesn't but if you swipe down you, you have all kinds of cool LG features here uh, Android 10 let's take a look at what security patch we're currently on we are on the April 1st security patch which is not bad the rear fingerprint sensor is fast So it's not bad. It's fast enough. It's not the fastest, but it handles it pretty well. Another thing is the camera. The camera kind of surprised me. This is where I did already take snap a couple pictures while it was updating. So this is the front facing camera there and it looks nice and crisp as you can see very detailed uh look at that beautiful mug don't mind the quarantine haircut uh so it look the front facing camera looks pretty good now that is portrait mode a little hazy around the edges but i'm pretty sure um if i give it a more light it should do pretty good at the edge detection but i'm pretty surprised by the cameras on this device if we slight swipe that's your main wide angle camera as you can see the tcl 10 pro there and then we do have a ultra super wide angle camera let's turn this sideways a little slow there but we do have great cameras here for this device so let me know what you guys think about the lg stylo 6 are you guys going to go ahead and pick one up in the comment section down below let me know what you guys want to see me do with this device you want to see me compare it to the tcl 10 pro the a71 the moto g stylus probably that won't be the best comparison since they're both budget phones and they do have stylus so uh let me know down in the comment section below thanks for watching if you're new to the channel consider subscribing Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when more LG Stylo 6 videos drop. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.